today is day three of our training on liquid detergent. This is a seven days free training. And today we are taking multi-purpose liquid soap. So, so many people have been asking you, please do have multi-purpose soap. Some persons don't like buying it. Some persons prefer to buy the ones that you have basically designated for each function. Like laundry soap, dishwashing soap, floor cleaner. Why some persons, all pockets are not the same, will tell you, please give me multi-purpose soap. I want to use it and wash plate, wash clothes, wash, clean the floor. Practically do everything in my house. Don't you want to sell your market? So because you don't have it, you don't want to learn how to make it. Today, let me digest multi-purpose liquid soap for you. So a multi-purpose liquid soap is a versatile thing. It is designed to perform a wide range of tasks, eliminating the need for separate for separate products for different jobs. So Let's talk about the primary functions of this multi-purpose liquid soap. To tell you the honest truth, apart from cleaning and washing, yes, it washes, it removes grit stains, it uh, it has the ability to bind to oil stains, remove grit stains, because you, for sure you're going to make it with your fork right? You right? You should be able to use it and wash your greasy dishes, your stove top, tops, and grimy floors. But let me tell you today, the next function I want to talk about is that antiseptic multipurpose liquid soap offers disinfecting and sanitizing properties to the soap. So in addition to physically removing the dirt that you can see, many multipurpose liquid soap are formulated with an antiseptic or anti antibacterial agent. So you see, whenever I'm giving you a recipe, I go into details and explain to you very well why this recipe is so. So we are going to be using chlorosalino in this formula and it will serve as our antibacterial agents. So this will give this our soap the ability to kill and inhibit germs. So the antiseptic component works by disrupting the cells of the membranes of, of viruses and bacteria, effectively killing them or stopping their growth. When you combine this, anti, this, this with the physical action of washing or scrubbing or mopping, this provides a powerful defense against pathogens. So do you know who you can sell this particular liquid, a multipurpose liquid soap to that is antiseptic? Hospitals, laboratories, companies, banks, daycare where children are. They will actually appreciate that the one you are bringing for them to, to sell for them or supply to them, even hotels, have this particular property in it. Then we'll talk about foaming and laddering. Yes, a multiple looking soap should foam and should ladder. Then the least but not the last, versatility. You should be able to use it. It should be gentle for hand wash. It should also be strong enough for you to wash your dishes. It should be port in, uh, portable for you to use as a surface cleaner. And then also, you should also be feeling comfortable to use it as a laundry wash. These are all together the functions of a multipurpose liquid soap. So let's get straight into the making of this liquid detergent. So first of all, we have to measure out our water. I'm making 10 liters of this production. So I'm using a total of two liters of water to dissolve my SLS rice. By now, you know what is SLS rice. I'll still do a video and explain all these components separately for you guys. But for now, let's just do the training. So you have to dissolve your SLS rice because you can't pour it into your production like that in case you are wondering. I know most of us are newbies into this production. Why some of us are already old hands into making liquid detergents of different types. But use two liters of water for me. Please use it and dissolve your SLS and set it aside. And if you are wondering, can I use the SLS rice or the SLS powder? I think the SLS rice is the, the one of the best one you can buy you can even see the SLS powder is there too but it's more expensive and now to the other two liters of water use it and dissolve your alkaline and your buffers which is your soda ash number one which is sodium carbonate sodium sulfate which will help with our viscosity salt for our texture viscosity texturizing that dragon effect you are seeing you need a little bit of it i always say if you overshoot your salt you have a cloudy soap and then the another thing I added in this in this water was I dissolved my sodium benzoate in, inside it. If you want, you can dissolve sodium benzoate separately. For the total powder that I poured here 
was in, within Sodom Bezoet. I'll be saying Sodom Bezoet as my preservative. If you feel Sodom Bezoet is not strong enough for your production, you can increase your the quantity or you can also incorporate other types of preservative into your production. There is methylparaben, there is optifine, there is phenoxyethanol, there is liquid gemma plus, there is exil. In fact, there are a whole lot of them. And now to the rest of the six liters of water, I will be dissolving my 50 grams of natural soap powder into it. Remember, it's multi-purpose. It needs to form well, though. So I'll drop the recipe as usual on the screen for you to see. Whenever you add in your natural soap into your water, make sure you mix well. And the type of natural soap that me, Bam Glam, always use is Gino Cell. I've been measuring it in all this video. Gino Cell. Tell them you want to buy Gino Cell. One kg is about 9,000 naira. Why the normal natural soap is around 7,000 naira per kg? So Gino Cell is more expensive. They normally write on the back of the um, Gino Cell. HEC, Hydrosy Hotel Cellulose slash HPMC. That's what they normally write on the body. It will give you. I know you are wondering why is my soap clearer? Why is my soap very clear and transparent compared to the one you've been making since? The thickening powder I'm using, even after adding all the components, the acids and the alkaline in it, it still maintains transparency. There is also another one they call pure HPMC. That one maintains transparency like Kilo Day. The higher the quality of your thickening agent, which is your natural soap powder, the better your clarity. That's where the trick lies. So if you've been making liquid soap and it's always opaque and you don't care, people actually care if you don't care. When they actually go and step out and see somebody else that probably learned from Bam Glam and is making a more quality soap, they will leave you and they will buy from that person. So upgrade. Upgrade. Today is upgrading day. Upgrade. I'll be shouting upgrade to the end of this video. Now, the next thing I added was sulfonic acid. It is always good you work in your acid into your powders first. Acidify it first. It makes it not to be grainy. You know that grainy effect you see when you finish pouring your liquid soap into containers? You notice that it's as if it's grainy on the body of the, of the liquid soap. It will be kind of grainy or lumpy. Acidifying it first. It's just chemistry, please. Acidifying your solution first. Before you add in your alkaline uh, alkaline components and buffers, it's better for you. If you work like this, you will have a good outcome. Don't say, I finished washing what Banglam have to say. Let me just take a recipe and do it the way I've been doing it. You won't have the same outcome with me. Don't come with me with a bad report and say that I finished trying out your recipe and it came back. Uh -uh. Before I started this training, I have actually done my research and said that this is it. Between people who paid me for private training on liquid soap, the people in my private group, I gave it as an assignment and everybody tried out this recipe in small amounts. And up to 50 persons submitted a flawless outcome. So I know what I'm saying. You make research and from the data from your research, you can be able to stand your ground and defend yourself. So I know what I'm telling you. Follow my recipe the way I put it, and you have a very good outcome. Don't say Bam Graham did not tell you. You see that your uncle's on the phone, that I have been chatting and be asking you, which business do you want to start up? Tell them you have seen a business. Now Bam Graham finished doing, uh, 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 just did a, a seven days free training on liquid detergent, and you feel you want to venture into this liquid detergent making. If you are wondering, what did you study in the school? My first review was on biochemistry. So I have a very good grasp of knowledge about chemicals. So if you are like me, you just finished and you graduated from the university and looking for what to do. Ah. It's time to go into entrepreneurship. Don't stand around and be waiting for a white collar job that, we have, uh, that you apply for. You work out from here to uh, um, Abuja and back to Lagos. Type in different formats of CV. I'm not discouraging you from your white collar job, but I'm just saying that if you have not gotten anything to do right now, you can actually go into production. Pe now, people like me and you, Naimi Dangote. So you can actually start from YouTube to develop yourself. It starts from making the first step into buying the product, developing it, making it, 
And before you know it, you register your business name or you register it as a company. The next step you take, you do your trademark, and then you go for NAVDAC. Before you know your product is out there in the market, before you know you're exporting. The next thing we did now is that we added our SLS that we dissolved, added it in. So right now, inside this bucket, you have all our three foaming agents and support tanks all well fit into this company, this world. The next thing we are going to go in with is our alkalines. I've explained it. This is the third time you are seeing it, right? Once you add in that particular one, it will start thickening up. Because I'm using sodium benzoate in this particular recipe I'm making now, and not methylparaben, you will notice it will start bringing out foam. Don't worry, just mix well. And you can add your color if you want, or add the next day, and then allow it to settle. By the next day, you, have, you should have a perfect production. So after adding my fragrance, I'll be going in with the main Obungi component of this particular production. Chloro xylenol. It comes as pellets or as crystals. It's very difficult to dissolve. Some persons say you can dissolve in pine oil. Why? It's, I think it's better dissolving an alcohol component. Ethanol, methanol, isopropyl alcohol, all of them are good for you to dissolve um, this chloro xylenol in it. The one I'm using is liquid one. It's sold as liquid. The people, the chemical uh, people that sell it already have dissolved it and bottled it. So this is a liter of chloro xylenol about 2500 and you have to buy it and add it i added about 100 ml of this closure and into this production and you have to add it in before you start working with your technique and what i did was to dissolve my color i'm using color purple for this production i just added a little bit of my purple color inside water and set it aside it's just a very little water probably about 200 ml of water the next thing i did was i added my coloring i knew that if i add in this liters of water that contains soda as sulfate and salt and sodium I knew I might not have the time to actually do my coloring unless at the end of the production probably the next day so adding your alkaline make sure you don't add in the bottom parts that did not dissolve very well just carefully add in where you can add and take away the other part you can see foam everywhere this is how you know that sodium benzoate is in the production this is what sodium benzoate does when you are making your production. You can also make use of um, stabilizers like uh, or chelators like EDTA in your liquid soap. You might also experience it. You might also experience it. Um, some persons may have asked me, can I use EDTA? And I've said, yes, you can use EDTA. And for you who don't know what is EDTA, EDTA is ethylene diamine tetracetic acid. We use it we add it to our production as a chelator. Let me explain to you so that you understand. When people who live around rocky regions of the world fetch water from their tap, this their water tends to have free flowing um, ions like calcium and magnesium ions. When soap comes in contact with calcium and magnesium ions, they tend to form um, scum instead of ladder or foaming property. Now, these people, when such people buy soap from you, they will tell you your soap doesn't ladder while it ladders in your own house. So that is why you are having that difference of you made soap is foaming, you sent it to Cross River, they will tell you your soap isn't foaming. Differences in the type of the water the person is using, the kind of sponge the person is using, all those things actually matter. Now, if you add EDTA into your production, which is a chelator, this EDTA helps to bind to this calcium and magnesium ion. Allowing your surfactant, which is your formula, again, to work properly. I don't know if I'm speaking big grammar. Forgive me, I'm a chemistry student, so I understand all this. But I don't know if you actually understand. To cut the whole long story short, EDTA helps to make your soap to ladder well and also improve your shelf life. When EDTA is binded with a preservative like liquid general plus, it helps to balance that liquid general. To be able to protect your product against both gram negative bacteria and gram negative. Hey, I don't speak too much grammar. Just follow this recipe where I've explained it, and you have a splendid outcome like what you are seeing on your screen. You can choose to use any color of your choice. I normally use purple to identify my antiseptic liquid soap because of the popular brand in the market known as Fabulation. You can choose to use any other color. That can suit your taste. 
and make you be happy of your production. But to tell you the honest truth, by the time we are done with this seven days training, you'll be filled with joy any day you make any receipt from me. I'm trying to empower you to be industrious. I'm trying to empower you to start building up your company from today. Stop waiting. You're not waiting for anything. Some of you will say, I'm waiting for my container. Some will say, I'm waiting for the printer to print my lab. Have you bought your chemicals? Have you started? At the end of this training, I'll be sharing some business dealers you can buy chemicals from in the WhatsApp group. Make sure you're in the WhatsApp group or the Telegram group. I'll share their contact. Also, if you have not joined the group for the training, check the description box, which is the caption of this video. Open it. You will see the links. Just tap it and join. You can also use this video to help somebody. I'm telling you, this video is like a package gift. It's worth more than 100,000 Naira gift or $100 gift they are sending to somebody. You can package this video and send to somebody, you know, maybe a copper or somebody you know you can help. Or a stay-at-home mom. Please watch this Bam Bam video. After learning, please try and see how you can go into this production. I'll be sending you some funds. So this video is not only for the people who want to make the production. You can also use it to empower somebody. Send the video to somebody. I did not say you should download my video and remove my voice and then do over um, voiceover over my video as if it's your video. If you do that one, me and you go fight. We pull like the extent draws herself. I didn't send you to do that. That's telling. That's telling. I said, send this video the way it is, the link. Just forward it to somebody to work and appreciate my good work. After doing this with it, so you actually love it. And then for the fragrance I use, I use a uh, Cindy and Cranberry. I just combined the two to see what the outcome to be like. Cindy smells nice. Why Cranberry smells like lollipop? Like sugar candy. Just combine these two together and, and it was wow, it was it was beautiful. Let's see, I don't package your soap. Can you see how beautiful our soap is? Did they see I'm so human, human well well? So once you are done packaging four liters, five liters, a keg of five liters of this kind of liquid soap is sold as cheap as eight thousand to seven thousand naira everywhere. If you want to add more money to your own, no problem. If you now decide to package five liters of liquid soap and sell it 1,000 naira, elbow to you. Thank you all for participating in this training today. Please do watch to the end of the video. And please, lest I forgot, I didn't put the clip of the of where I was shaking the beard in this production. Maybe I'll do it later and send to the WhatsApp group, but the beard is also balanced. You, you, are, you are safe to go.